I'm Daniel van der Wien. I'm the head of innovation from Haygrove Growing Systems. Today we're in our 1,000 square meter double skin tunnel. Haygrove added this to their tunnel range as a alternative to glass for season extension. The tunnel was developed by Geo Group and we've partnered with them to supply it around the world. Studies have shown that double skin polythene is about 40% more efficient at retaining the heat than a standard glass house without thermal screens. In the past, people have expressed concern about the light transmission in double skin tunnels. In the recent years, technology has improved to such an extent that the light transmission of the two layers now is 82%, which is a big improvement to polythenes of the past. We're recording light levels to show what the difference is between the various structures and with the natural light that's outside. We're doing this through sensors supplied by 30 megahertz, where we can check them on our phones and we have both live data and historical data logged. Just like in a glass house, you use a climate controller to manage the environment in the structure. So you can control things like temperature, humidity, CO2, optimizing the environment both for yield and for pest and disease control. This tunnel is 9.6 meters wide. It's four meters to the gutter height. We have eight rows of hanging substrate in the structure and the venting is done through a butterfly vent on the apex. Again, that's linked to the computer and vents on a rack and pinion system. We also have side venting on one of the sides and access through a middle track to get the fruit out of the field. So depending on location, climate, crop strategy, there's different types of venting systems available for this type of structure. So you can have a single side venting system or the double side venting system as in this structure. So in terms of heating options, because it's such a small area, we chose gas air heaters. For larger sites, we would recommend heating pipes on the ground because it just provides a better, a more efficient way of heating the double skin tunnel, but also a more uniform temperatures and allows better climate control. So we planted this crop at the beginning of January, the variety is Malling Centenary. We have 12 plants a meter, a heavy tray plant. And again, the objective is to start picking the same time as a glass house and produce the same yield, the same quality with a similar profile. With this plant type, we would expect to get about 550 grams per plant, which equates to about 55 tons a hectare. Obviously, at picking starting at the end of March will give us the benefit of the higher prices that time of year, and then we'll follow this up with an autumn crop, which we'll pick in September, October, November. Other benefits of this kind of structure are labor savings, fully automated, which means there's no vending costs, maintenance costs are low because of the double skin, there isn't any ropes that go over the plastic, so there's, there's less wear and tear on both layers of the polythene. The outer layer acts like a cushion, which means there's less friction on the polythene, which again means Sarah series, double skin tunnel, has a longer life.